Hello from the beautiful Rhineland Palatinate Federal State in Germany. We'll be driving through the Palatinate Forest, nice uh, hilly region from Landau to Saarbrücken on the National Road B10, the A8 and the A623 uh, motorways. Let's go! We start on the A65 motorways that we are exiting now to drive on the B10 further, bypassing the town of Landau to the north. Landau is a town of um, almost uh, 50,000 inhabitants, situated between the Palatinate Forest and the Rhine River. It is surrounded by wine yards and uh, lies uh, directly on the German wine route. The town is old, dating from uh, 1106. It preserved uh, some of its um, cultural and historical heritage over the years, the large main square being dominated by the town hall and the market hall. The Protestant Collegiate Church dates back to the 16th century. There is also a zoological garden located close to the town center with the animals being held in natural enclosures. From Landau we are driving on the B10 National Road, built with an expressive profile uh, during the last years north of Landau. It was actually under construction as we drove there, should be, should be ready soon. Um, it's um, a bypass of uh, the town. And the further section uh, to Pirmasens should uh, be also rebuilt as an expressway during the next years. Let's uh, see if and uh, it uh, and when it will happen. There is also a lot of traffic on this section as the A8 motorway has a big gap here. And there are no plans to build the motorway anymore. Instead of it, uh, the B10 should be improved. The B10 crosses through the Platinate Forest, designated a nature park, a low mountainous area, one of the largest uh, forests in Germany. We drive through it until Pirmasens, a nice town, formerly one of the centers of shoe industry in Europe, with brands like Salamander pro uh, producing uh, here uh, during the last century, until most of uh, the, this industry migrated to Asia during the 1980s. From Pirmasens we join the A8 motorway and drive on it uh, through a hilly region until uh, the A623 that brings us fast in Saarbrücken. It's, um, um, Easier to, I think it's uh, shorter to reach Saarbrücken on the A6 from the A8, but um, drove uh, once uh, the A6, so decided to take the A623 this time. Had a great time uh, doing this very drive. Now let's enjoy it with some music. And uh, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel and activate the bell in order to receive the notification when I'm doing a new video. I will be back in Saarbrücken and until then just sit back, relax and enjoy the ride.
bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here. I got time. It's clear to see from up here. The world seems small. We can sit together. It's so beautiful, you and me. We meant to be in the great outdoors, forever free.
with you. I can be sad with you. Just take my hand and fly up through the dreams where the skies are so clear. With you, I wanna stay with you. With you, I love the way that you love me today. Let's run up through the fields where the sun shines and heals. With you, I wanna stay with you. It's been so cold since you have been gone. Like I was told.
Once again, after a nice very drive from Landau on the B10, A8 and A623, we reached Saarbrücken, the capital and largest city of the state of Saarland, being located very close to the French border on the river Saar. It has a population of about 180,000 inhabitants and was first mentioned in the year 999. Saarbrücken developed fast during the Middle Ages, becoming a regional center. The industrialization brought a lot of prosperity in this area, starting from mid-19th century. The coal and iron resources of the region started to be exploited, followed by many other factories. After the First World War, the city became the capital of the Saar territory, occupied by France. In 1939, 90% of the population voted for the reunification with Germany, so the Saar territory rejoined Germany and formed a district called the Saarland. During the Second World War, the city was heavily bombed, 75% of, uh, of it being left in ruins. After the war, it was again under French administration until 1957, when Saarland rejoined the, the Federal Republic of Germany. Nowadays, the city is in a transition from heavy industry to a more diversified economy with a more uh, powerful services sector. Now, um, I will end the filming as we join the A620 motorway and exit is the city of Saarbrücken. Hope you enjoy the drive and stay tuned for more videos from our road trips from different regions that will be shared here on the channel. Bye bye and till the next time.